Hey guys, welcome back to This Was Tarot. <clears throat> My name's Corey, and we are going to do a little reading here. Um, so, what's the gossip about you? It's come around again. I think it's been about a month since I've done it last time. Um, I like to do these, you know, I would like to start doing these monthly because you know with the moon phases and stuff we go through our changes right and so about this time is a while is when I feel like maybe the gossip would change I don't know we don't know but it's it's a catchy video uh, people like to know um, it's our ego right I mean like it is what it is <laughs> You know, and I'm not sure what's going on. Like, my phone is, like, just got this weird... It's not even... Like, there's no filter. It's just doing something weird. And then, like, so is my hair. It's doing something weird also. Um, but I ain't even gonna trip, okay? <laughs> I'm having a fantastic Tuesday. I hope that the rest of you are also having a fantastic Tuesday. Um, uh, there's going to be some stuff that I'm going to start introducing here soon, stuff that I've been creating. Um, and I'm excited. <laughs> but, you know. Okay, so these are going to be, anyways, uh, enough about me. Let's talk about you. Let's find out what the gossip is. What's the gossip? Let's find our three piles. Do you guys like it that I find the three piles with you on here? Or would you rather me just like... Well, I guess I have the time stamps. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Pile one is going to be the identity card. Pile two is going to be the unity card. For me, it was in the reverse, but we're just gonna take unity. Let's see what, what the B is they else. Did one just flip over up in here? It did. It sure the heck did. Okay, and pile three is the truth card here. Okay, so. And we've got purification at the bottom of the deck. I'll hold these up for you guys for a minute. Okay. Pile one. You chose the identity card. This is your reading. What is the gossip about you? So for some of you, it's, you know, I heard, uh, you know, she doesn't know. She doesn't know who she is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. What is the gossip? What is the gossip about Pile 1, the identity card? She's a material girl. <laughs> How's that song go? I'm a material girl in a material world. Some of you, the gossip is you are concerned about material things. And you know what? So? <laughs> I don't feel like it's like you're concerned about material things in a selfish, greedy type of way. It just seems like these people Probably haven't seen anybody chase after their dreams uh, since Martin Luther King Jr. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Somebody out here is chasing after their dreams and people don't like it. And they're considering it to be a, a materialistic 
like you're only in it for the money. Mm. These people clearly haven't been given steps by <laughs> the Lord, have they? Uh-uh. No. The universe hasn't ordered their steps, have they? Okay. Anyways, um, let's see. What's the gossip about pile one? All right, so we have forever tranquility and happiness, okay, uh, with uh, angel at the bottom of the deck. Okay, some people are calling you an earth angel, pile one. Some people are calling you an earth angel, okay? Some people are that... <laughs> With this forever card, some people that like have gossiped about you in the past and said bad things about you in the past are like now kind of backtracking and being like, um, that's been like, like, that's like a really good friend of mine. We've been friends for like ever. <laughs> that's what I thought of when I saw this forever card. Yeah. Um, gossip about you pile one here with a tranquility card is you just like, I just heard she just don't give a fuck. Um, like you do, like you were just so It feels like you're just so focused on you uh and what you have going on and all your responsibilities and stuff that like and you're just you're happy. Like even if you have a lot going on, you know what I mean? Like you got to water Phyllis and take out the dog and no, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't have a dog. I would love to have a dog. But anyways, um Speaking of dogs, my cat ran away and I don't, he never came back, but, um, so that could be something, you know, anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, so pile one gossip about you, um, it's like these people can't, <laughs> they can't come up with anything to say about you, you know what I'm saying, like they just start talking about themselves, right? Yeah. They don't have anything to say. So they just start talking about themselves, I guess. That's odd. What else? What else is the gossip about pile one? That's just like one, that's just like one or two people that are talking about them. What else is the gossip about pile one? Mm. Some people uh, are talking about how maybe like maybe you like do a lot of different stuff and they're like not sure that you know which direction you're going in. They're like, you know, saying, you know, well, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know who they are. They don't know what they want. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you, uh, some people could be talking about how you're like striving, chasing, chasing the, the American dream I just heard. Um, you know, But yeah, it, it's like some people are saying, you know, well, you know, she's happy. He or she's happy. They're content, uh, you know, but. There's just a lot going on. Huh. That's interesting. Maybe you do have a lot going on, but I. But if you do, I've, you know, remember these people are just saying these things. You could just be literally interested in all the things that you're going after, right? Like, <laughs> once you break free from the matrix, you can do a lot of things. <laughs> these people are probably still, still stuck a little bit in the matrix here. What else are they saying? What else is the gossip about pile one? Gossip about pile one. <laughs> Somebody, she's a little wild. Somebody's a little wild. Mm. But really, it's your confidence. <laughs> um, 
yeah she's a go-getter and somebody there's a lot of females in this pile because usually I don't even talk about like he or she or you know but um, yeah there's she she is very predominant here okay um, let's see here I just heard um, somebody wears their intuition on their sleeve. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Please enlighten me in the comments. <laughs> what does that mean? Where's their intuition on her sleeve? All right. What are they, what's the gossip about pile one? The gossip about pile one. Yeah, like you're just like, the, it's cool. Okay. So we got the Ace of Cups and we got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this is, this could go a couple different ways here. Okay, so um, somebody feels like, you know, some people feel like you're just so happy. Like you are just truly happy uh, with who you are and where you're headed. And you do, maybe you do have a lot going on, but you're no longer, you're like truly just being you, right? Like you're just, um, you know, you work hard, you're dedicated to what you're building and whatnot and, and what you're growing. And um, you're just really kind of coming into who you are here. Um, <clears throat> you know, no longer, um, so my initial thought with the Queen of Swords in reverse is like, you know, the Queen of Swords is like cutting out things that no longer serve her. Um, you know, she, she brings like the perception, the truth. Some, okay. Some people think that you are lying about your happiness. Some people think that you're faking happy. <laughs> what? because they don't understand how in your situation you could you like they wouldn't be able to be happy <laughs> yeah they also feel like you are lying about some of the things that you're doing like some of the opportunities that you have and you've created and they feel like also that you could be lying about your uh, financial stability yep <laughs> so that's the gossip pile one whether or not you are lying I probably not these people clearly just don't have the perception they can't perceive they don't have the uh, connection. They don't. They don't know uh, what's uh, how you do it. Like how you do it. Like how do you? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So some people are talking about how you know what I mean. Like now this this Queen of Swords in reverse could be somebody else who potentially lied about you okay um so you know this could be who is gossiping about you right um and if that's the case well then at this point there you know what i mean like maybe these are other people talking about say this queen of swords in reverse was over talking to a group of people about you well then that group of people did a, their own assessment of what's going on here and they you know did their own research and came back and found out well that person was lying and you know pile one really is happy and confident and content and <laughs> like has a lot going on and is actually very financially stable so um <laughs> yeah so this could go a couple different ways here for sure yeah mm -hmm. Some people, you know, could think 
you know, potentially that, uh, hold on, let me get all this out here and see what we got. Some people are talking about how you just like took this leap of faith and it's like you've achieved, you know, third, second, third place. Did I say third, second, third place? <laughs> second, third, fourth place, you know, in life here and you're dreaming of the gold here and um, There's something hidden, maybe. These cards are odd to come out together. Hmm, that could be it, that you're odd. <laughs> you're odd, pile one. Somebody thinks that you're odd. Fair enough. Um, Yeah, some people are talking about you healed. You have like healed and you've like opened up this whole new world of like opportunities for yourself. And like at this point on your journey, it's like you could really like do whatever you want to do here. It's like, what do I, what do I want to be today? Don't be a police officer today, or do I want to wear the, no, not like that, like, but like, do I want to be a singer today, or do I want to be a tarot reader today, or do I want to write a novel today, yeah, just four of swords, just healing, relaxing, figuring out what direction, some people are saying also that you don't work, um, you know, that you don't really work hard, um, some of the things there's maybe some of the things that you do if you are on you know some sort of platform or something people are saying that you do it for attention right um yeah there's a lot of different things here pile one but uh yeah i feel like there's just i mean you got to take it with a grain of salt people don't know what to think about you pile one they're just not sure so that's what I have. Some of them are like, man, this girl's so happy or this boy's so happy and just, you know, living their best life. And then some of them are like, how are they doing that? There's no way. They have to be lying. And those people just don't like their lives. Anyways, okay, so moving on to pile two. Pile one, thank you so much for being here, for all the likes, shares, subscribes. And um, I'm so grateful for every single one of you. Okay. I can't see. All right, pile two. If you've got the unity card here, this is the gossip about you. What is the gossip about tile two? What is the gossip about my tile two? What is it? about watching kids movies listen there ain't nothing wrong with a kids movie I love kids movies Mary Poppins to be exact I don't know what about it but I do love that movie gossip about pile two Mary Poppins was probably an earth angel for sure oh my goodness and then we got earth Listen, I said Earth Angel, and then there was Earth right there. Uh, and always. And happiness. Pile two. People admire you. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They see your connection. Um, 
with your higher self. They see your connection with source. They see your connection uh, with um, pal two. Some people want to be romantic with you. Mm -hmm. They do. They sure do. Yes. Um, you, pal two, some people are talking about how blessed you are, how protected you are. Um, you are like, <laughs> and I mean, we have the words earth and angel come out one on top of the other. Um, super, super, I just heard financially blessed and then also just blessed. Okay. Could be both, could be one or the other, could be different groups of people talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, pile two, woo doggy. Yeah. You're like the talk of the town. Something we ain't never seen before around here. <laughs> like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Pal do you were like Mary Poppins. To some people. They don't understand. How you just keep pulling shit out of your hat. Or your bag, not your hat. Right? Yeah. You've changed, Pile 2. People are talking about how you've changed. You never used to have a bag like that. <laughs> no. You never used to have a bag like that, Pile 2. And now you have the whole Mary Poppins bag. Umbrella included. Okay? Yes, you have changed. I'm very drawn to this blue butterfly there. So if a blue butterfly is some sort of uh, signal for you, some sort of meaning for you, um, there you have it. Okay, a lot fell out here. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, some, I just heard money gave them confidence. That's fair. Some people are talking about how, um, you know, you just, uh, I heard minimalist, okay? You don't hold on to things for long. You get rid of things very quick, and not very quickly, but you switch things out. It's like, it feels like an energetic thing. Um, but you just, you're not, you're not materialistic at all. I feel like, and, and I'm getting that from this spaciousness card, which again has another butterfly on it, okay? Um, just uh, very much, you know, I feel like you've been through a lot, pile two. Like I said, you never used to have that Mary Poppins bag, and then all of a sudden, you have this Mary Poppins bag, and you just keep, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, And people from your past are like, This is them waiting on you to like get down to, you know what I mean? Like find what it is that you're looking for in your bag. <laughs> but you just keep, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're like, oh, here's the zebra that I named Charles. Um, <laughs> like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But there, it's just like this feeling of just like, <sighs> Some people, if you are going on a trip, pile two, um, some people are hoping that you have troubles with it, um, which is kind of odd, you know, but I hope that you have a blast and I'm sure that you will. Um, everything's gonna be just fine. But um, yeah, no, don't worry about that. But people are kind of, it's because they're like maybe envious of the trip that you're going on seems odd. I don't know. Like, get yourself your own trip. Ah, crip. Anyways, so, um, yeah, but people, um, are talking about maybe how you are going on a trip. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe if you travel a lot, people talk about that. Um, 
you know, I just feel like, you know, that you've gone through this evolution, this change, you know, really connected yourself. Um, and um, people are talking about it. People are talking about the new yell, the no and unprobed yell, and how all the challenges that maybe you went through in the past, they just kind of went away, and like you don't have any issues like living life, right? Yeah, transformation card. Like I said, confirmation. People are talking about your transformation. Yeah, holy shit. Um, yeah, okay. People are talking about how they, they've they noticed two of, two of wands, um, but also that you are very focused and very, you're very insightful, okay? We've got the empress and the hermit. <laughs> like that's gorgeous right like you have transformed into the empress the hermit and the two of wands and in this deck that's amazing like i said very insightful very wise very gorgeous very abundant very i mean like you don't you don't make any decisions on a whim you're very tapped in you're very um but at the same time, it's like you balance. It's like you have this king of swords, king of feathers energy, queen of wands energy. You balance these within you, right? P passion, creativity, logic, and justice. And you know what I'm saying? You bring magic to the matrix. Pile two. <laughs> That's gorgeous. You bring magic to the matrix. You are showing those stuck in the matrix magic. I don't think they realize you're showing them, but you are. I mean, you're leading by example. They're supposed to be following <laughs> the cue. <laughs> if they are or not, I don't know. But this is what people are saying about you. I mean, they're not saying like, you know what I'm saying? But this is what's happening, right? Um, you know, people are talking about if you're a parent, you're a phenomenal parent. Um, you're a great friend. You're super wise. Like, look, we got the two of wands again. And in this deck, magic. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. Bringing magic to the matrix. Yep, and we got the two of cups here. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, this is like connection with your higher self. Um, uh, could be, you know, some sort of, let's see. It could be like a lover or somebody, you know, somebody, some sort of soulmate that uh, could be a friend soulmate that's saying this about you. Look at this, in this card, the stars, how the mom is just playing with the kids and there's the dog, like everyone's having fun, everyone's in the moment, like this is what people are saying about you, you know, that you take care of yourself, you take care of your body, you're extremely balanced, right? And, um, you know, that you're happy and you're healthy and you're wealthy. And that is the gossip about you, pal two. Bringing magic to the matrix. That is so cool. That is legit. Look, and then this challenges card, like, did a weird thing and it flipped upside down. Like, you look at, you guys, like, turn your challenges into accomplishments. I don't know. Turn it into magic. You just refocus that energy, huh? All right. Anyways, pile two, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm so grateful for every single one of you. And we will see you next time.
pile three. Truth card. If you got the truth I just heard, they were telling the truth. Like, somebody surprised that you were telling the truth. That's odd. You know. Whatever. All right, what's gossip about pile three? What's the gossip about pile three? Just heard justice. Gossip about pile three. What is the gossip about pile three? They always had good intentions, I just heard. They always had good intentions. Also, you have a lot of hope, a lot of aspirations, a lot of dreams. You see the world for what it is, uh, but you uh, are trying to find ways to change it. Mm -hmm. You were telling the truth. Connection. There's, it's like uh, your connection to the divine. People were doubting. Mm -hmm. And your desires and the reason behind your desires, your goals and aspirations. Like you, you came out with some stuff, pile three, and because it, it didn't really resonate with maybe the old you, uh, people from your past who you have grown distant from, um, you know, or even just people in town or, you know, work or, you know, they, they just don't really, it, didn't resonate with the, the you that they were super familiar with, right? Um, so, anyway, so, uh, yeah. So they kind of didn't believe you, and then now here you come with your justice. Here you come with your justice. <laughs> yeah. What is the gossip about pile three? It seems like justice has already been, you know, had here. Gossip could be, maybe some of you guys are going through creative blocks, but I, it, it also, I also feel like, you know, the gossip is, is that you're extremely creative, right? And you're not afraid to like do and create whatever you want, right? Like you are yourself, you are you are your truth. You know what I mean? Like you're totally, people are talking about how um, you're definitely like good on your own, um, self-sufficient, right? Um, and you really enjoy this. Um, But people were concerned about your intentions, I think, originally here, okay? Um, people are talking, some people are saying how you are like creating more boundaries and whatnot, and, and some people think that it's selfish, but others um, think that it's very good that you're doing this. Um, some people are talking about how like you just are a joy to be around, I just heard. Um, people are talking about how you, um, yeah, you just, whatever it is that you want, whatever you desire, whatever reality you're trying to create, you like go after it. Like, what do you want? You know what I mean? Like, you have gotten to this point of being completely self-sufficient, Pile 3. So... It's only up from here, <laughs> right? Yeah. What are, what are people talking about my pile three? What's the gossip about pile three? What is the gossip about pile three? The gossip about pile three?
Um, people are, there might be some, you know, some one in particular or some fellows or some ladies that are talking about how like, you know, you probably have a lot of suitors, a lot of options here, but you are definitely like uh, the ideal, right? The uh, the prototype, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> with a little bit of a remix here. Mm hmm. Yeah, people are talking about how you are, you have a lot of drive, like you're very self-driven, you have a lot of goals, you, you know, your passion, you, you take passionate action towards things that you want. But you also spend time in the moment, right? Like that you're very much in tune with what's going on around you and your surroundings and your children and you know if you have children or just your friends or your family like it's like you know it's like you are you have this balance here of um uh like work and play basically that's it you have a work-play balance. I feel like you worked hard for that. Yeah. <laughs> and you're able to enjoy your life here, for sure. Uh, yeah, some people are talking about maybe you've gone through some sort of awakening here, some sort of spiritual awakening, or just awakening in general. Feels like these are people that like went through an awakening on their own, but didn't like tell you <laughs> what. Okay. <laughs> if there's like a relationship where people like thought that maybe you were like maybe they weren't super excited about this person or whatever um there may be somebody who is lying to somebody or uh you know saying that you are with them when you are really not yeah There's like a, a group, it's like people working together about some sort of secrets. It's just Okay, like it's like you told them that you weren't with this person or, you know, you weren't doing this thing or you were no longer, you know, in this contract, this soul tie, whatever it may be, you ended that cycle here, right? And then like there was like this collaboration to try to like keep that illusion going. 
Um, but then there's been some sort of judgment that's been made, right? Uh, uh, maybe on three people in particular, um, because, you know, the truth is that you are no longer associated, right? You did in this cycle. They could be doing this because they just feel left out in the cold. It's like the person that you are no longer associated with, right, is saying, trying to make it seem like you are. Reality is that they are five of pentacles left out in the cold. That's interesting. So you do have somebody here from your past that is lying about you, saying that you guys are still connected. Um, but, uh, you know, strength card, I just cut the deck of the strength card here. Um, you're just, it, this isn't going to slow you down or anything. This is just a little bit of gossip that's going on. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, you know, truth will be, truth will be, uh, figured out here. Um, and you know, it's not up to you to give it anyways. I mean, if you want to still take time to defend your name, that's fine. But I mean, shoot, I wouldn't even worry about it. <laughs> But anyways, so that is what I have for you, Pile 3. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. And we will see you next time.